say that. <laughs> well, we're going live. There's a car now coming. I don't think he's going to run us over. Or she. There we go. Mr. Taxi looking a bit suspicious. Anyway, I'm here with uh, Mr. Paddy Davitt after Norwich City's two undefeat here to the Brewers, to Burton Albion. Go on then, Pad, do you give us your reaction then, if you want? I managed not to swear earlier. Do you what want did to, you, do you say? Uh, uh, well, it's predictable. We've been here before. We've seen it time and again, and for all the want of corners turned, it hasn't happened. There'll be no corners turned until they get the players who can come to these places, and it's not even a with uh, no disrespect to a Burton, with no disrespect to a Rotherham, with no disrespect to a QPR, Reading, maybe not Reading because they're up and around it, um, on and on and on. You know, they haven't got the players. They haven't got the players. It's not about injuries. And to be fair to Alex Neil, he wasn't hiding behind that. Shot themselves in the foot again. Um, they haven't got the players. Simple as to go to these places in the Championship and get points on a regular basis. That's why they're seven points out of the playoffs. That's why they won't get in the playoffs unless there's a dramatic and rapid improvement. Um, but you just don't see it. I mean, we've just said, I mean, the reality is they're probably better off now because they've got the Sheffield Wednesdays, they've got the Reddings, the Huddersfields, um, teams in and around them. You, you fancy Norwich more against those type of sides than coming here today. Um, another instantly forgettable affair. Punters, I don't know what I saw about. <laughs> They're literally doing a lap of the ground, I think. Yeah. There we go. High spirits. Indeed, indeed. Yeah. Um, <laughs> just frustration again. Manager's so frustrated. You can tell that in his post-match. Um, he's fed up almost now, you know, because we've seen it too many times. And as you said there, corner turned. Don't think so. So, I mean, two, it's not that different at side, is it, from two years ago? In terms of being able to turn it on? Oh, are there key players missing? I mean, we've got the derby coming up. Of course, that was a key Bradley Johnson battleground is it, is it that kind of player that, that they're missing or oh, you'd have to say so yeah particularly in these in environments um, maybe not as technically gifted as a Wes Hulan or an Alex Pritchard or Johnny Alson but if you if he was in a, if he was in your side here you'd, you'd feel that they'd be able to handle it rather than an all too familiar script which has unfolded again um, entirely of their own making individual errors then seemingly not able to rouse themselves physically to, uh, you know, win enough battles, win enough second balls to, to get back in the game. I mean, their keeper, second half, made <laughs> one, one save from Wiltshire and that was it. You know, it's not good enough, is it? So um, I take the injuries, I take the gruelling run they've had, but so is every other team. Nigel Clough was saying he had six injury doubts going into the game. OK, they didn't play midweek. Um, but reality is not good enough and are not going to be good enough this season, sadly. And so we've got the derby to look forward to as well, which is obviously really exciting. I can't wait for that next weekend. Well, they won't. Be, they, they can't wait for it, I'm sure. They've had a good result again today. They, they seem to have found a, a seam of consistency, so that could be the final ignomy, uh, given Norwich's hold over this fixture in the last few years. If they were to get a car road uh, and do the business, personally, I don't really want to be in that stadium at the final whistle if that is the outcome. So, you know, but ultimately... There's a lot of frustration here at the minute. Uh, they've got a full week now. Hopefully they'll get some of the injured boys back. And, uh, you know, they certainly won't need any motivation. To be fair to them, that wasn't the issue to, again today. I, I thought the effort was there. The application, they tried to do it. But they just haven't got the players fit for purpose. Um, and Ipswich will give them a fairly similar test to what they had here today. So, you would fear... <laughs> you would fear what, what is likely if they don't match it which is intensity and physicality because uh, you know but having said that that's a one-off game and, uh, and all it is entailed with a derby so that doesn't really concern me too much it's just obviously if they have more of these between now and the end of the season you don't see it I mean the reality is tonight at the table the seven points beyond Sheffield Wednesday have got a game in hand it's going to take a major implosion from the teams above them now for Norwich to get anywhere near the playoffs and, and that is on the basis that Norwich can rouse themselves don't see it don't see it I think um, I think we're in we're in planning mode again now for next season, and that seems like the perfect uh, note to end on. Given we're in the middle of a well, we were in the middle of a car park, and now there's a lot of cars parking around yeah, us. Yeah, time to go, mate. Uh, time to go, isn't it? So uh, goodbye, Burton. It was a blast. Cheers, Pad, and uh, thanks everyone for watching.